Good morning, everyone. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Genevieve Coronel, and I will be reporting today about Hibijal teaching strategies. So, teaching strategies is ito yung ginagamit ng mga teacher to cater all the needs of the pupils. So, today, I am going to discuss about the four remedial teaching strategies. So, number one, we have Individualized Educational Program or the IEP. This IEP is, it means that a teacher teaches one student at one time or the teacher's skill to take into account individual differences among the learners. So, it does not mean that a teacher should work alone. So, the purpose here is to get the students, the purpose here is to get closer to the student as possible. So, in, so this program is included here. The short-term and long-term teaching objectives, which is the teacher must or select teaching objectives nga mas maangay jud sa isa ka estudyante nga na ay learning difficulty. And also, this, uh, this program is follows the learning steps, activities, and reviews to ensure that this program is implemented effectively. So, this IEP is aims to reinforce the foundation of learning, help pupils overcome their learning difficulties, and develop their potential. So, which is para para matagan o balik ha, para matagan o balik o interest ang mga pupil to to learn. That's why that's why this program this program is to help overcome their learning kay para para po dili sila ma para po dili sila mawadan o gana so so ginatabangan sila to to enhance their learning difficulties to, uh, to overcome their learning difficulties or to enhance their potentials by <clears throat> by designing this program so we have number two peer support program remedial teacher may train up pupils who perform better in a certain subject to become a legal teacher and who will be responsible for helping schoolmates with learning difficulties in a group teaching or or this peer support program is for the pupil that has higher grades in a certain subject so katong mga in short mga bright nga mga estudyante or mga pupil and kani sila ang mga i-assign sa mga sa mga remedial mga remedial teacher to become a little real teacher and and to take responsibility for helping their schoolmates nga naay mga learning difficulties in a group teaching and this and the and this peer and this this peer support program is is ginatrain ni sila is ginatrain ni sila sa sila mga remedial teacher on how to handle on how to handle their class their, their schoolmates how to help schoolmates with learning with learning difficulties og etc and help pupils reinforce their knowledge, develop their communication and cooperation as well as good interpersonal relationship. So, kani mga little, little teacher is ginatabangan nila ang mga atong naay mga learning difficulties to develop their communication. So, through interaction sila mga classmates to have a good interpersonal relationship so we have number number three reward scheme 
It has a positive effect in enhancing pupils' motivation. It aims guiding pupils to set their own objectives and plans and positively reinforcing their good performance. So, kaning reward scheme is very common siya sa primary schools, which is ginagamit ni siya sa mga teacher in order na matagaan nila og interest sa mga estudyante to to study hard kay ma- kay kaya mga estudyante mga good or ang mga pupil is ginaan kina sila mag-study basta na jury reward and naihatag si teacher sa ilaha so naano siya positive effect because because ma matagaan sila og matagaan sila og motivations may enhance ang motivation sa isa kabata so remedial teacher may take note of the following set clear and specific targets which is as a teacher dapat na kay specific targets sa imong mga pupils number 2 set achievable objectives na which is as a teacher kailangan magbuhat kag objectives na kanang makaya ra sa imong mga pupil number 3 give diversified diversified rewards so kanang mga lahi nga reward nya imong ihatag sa si imong mga pupil number 5 invite parents to help children improve their work so this is very important nga nga maapil jud ang parents sa learners sa isa ka bata para pud para pud ma para pud ma improve ang work sa isa ka bata or sa isa ka sa isa ka, sa ka student and lastly, we have hunting pupils' behavior problems. Remedial teachers should observe the following when dealing when dealing behavior problems. So, this hunting pupils' behavior problems is that a remedial teacher is must be observing yun sila mga pupils. So we have number one: always observe the performance of pupils in class and their behavior in groups. So, ikaw as a teacher. So, ikaw as a teacher, sino ito? As a teacher, dapat observe lang dyan mo ang performance each pupil sa klase. Kung sila ba, naka, sila ba nag-participate sa imuhang class o sila hang, ilahang behavior in a group. Sila mga classmates, kung sa mag, kanang in a group, sa grupo. Dapat observe lang dyan mo ang behavior sa isa kabata. Kung good ba yan yung napakita or bad. Number two, establish close relationship with pupils, develop mutual trust, and listen carefully what they say. So, kanisha is, dapat ikaw as a teacher, observe po nimo kung ang isa, ba, isa ka bata is, na, is naga interact ba siya siya mga classmates or friendly ba siya siya mga classmates or siya ba kay gainusara ra. So, mga ingana. So, dapat ka na establish nimo na siya isa ka bata. To, to develop their mutual trust sila mga classmates. Number three, help pupils understand the effect of their behavior on the other as well as their own selves. So, teacher should should, under, should, should understand the effect of their behavior. So, dapat ipasabot sa teacher kung unsay effect sa behavior sa isa kabata like for example kung isa kabata kay naginusara wala siya ka istorya so dapat istoryahan sa teacher na dapat siya makipag istorya sa siya mga classmates makipag friend kay para na siya kadula so yung ana siya dapat makasabtan sa bata ang, ang effect sila ang behavior number 4 keep in close contact with parent to find out the cause of pupil behavior or problem. So, ikaw as a teacher, dapat na kay communication sila hang parents in order na mahibalan ni mo kung unsa ang mga problem sa bata sa ilahang balay o sa school. Number five, build up self-confidence and healthy self-image. So, this is kung ang isa ka bata kay na ay talent sa pagkanta, sa pagsayaw, sa art, sa music, sa music. So, ikaw as a teacher, kung kanan, observeran mo sa isa ka bata, 
kung na mga activities sa school, mga events, so pwede nyo siya ipa-appeal ang bata sa nga 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 event kay para ma-build iyahang self-confidence or self-esteem samtang bata pa siya. And also healthy self-image, doing good sa iyahang mga classmates, sa iyahang mga teachers. Number six, give positive reinforcement to pupils' good behavior. And do not pay undue attention to their behavior. So, as a teacher, tagaan ni mag-reward ang mga mga estudyante nga itong mga behave, mga behave, itong mga bata nga buutan para po ang itong mga bata nga para po ang itong mga bata nga sipat is mag-behave po sila para matagaan po sila ang reward mag anak gali. Number seven, do not try to change all the deviant behavior of pupils at once. Teachers should list out the problems and set the priorities with an aim to improve one or two of them at a time. So, as a teacher, dapat di lang nyo mo i-change ang ilahang mga, behave, ilahang mga behavior, kanang mga deviant behavior, kanang negative or positive ba na ilang behavior. Ikaw as a teacher, kailangan mag-set na kaog mga priorities sana kung sa'yo mong angay buhaton para ma-improve din mo ang ilahang mga behavior. So, number eight, refer the cases to student guidance officer for follow-up actions if the behavior problems of pupils continue or become serious. So, kung ang, kung ang, saka, ang batasan sa bata or ang behavior sa bata is or seryoso na dyan kayo, so pwede na na mo siya i-refer sa student guidance para sila na dayon bahala. Then, ikaw na dayon mag-follow-up actions kung sa mga dapat buhaton. So, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.